This is the 2023 Asus Chromebook CM14 Flip. It's a 14 inch fully convertible entry level Chromebook with a full HD touchscreen and this particular one comes with the optional garage stylus. I've been using it for the past three weeks so I'm ready to take you through the good and bad of it and what to watch out for in this model line if you're thinking about buying one. If you want to see my unboxing of this Chromebook and how I paid pretty much half price for it, I'll link those videos at the end of this one and in the description. Asus call this dark grey colour gravity grey and in the US and potentially other regions there's a second colour option called grey green which looks more light grey than green from the photos I've seen. It's an all plastic build and seems to have the signature extra smooth top that Asus seem to like using certainly on their more entry level Chromebooks. I don't really like how that feels and it's also a complete fingerprint magnet. The bottom has a part textured side and a speckled finish to it, very similar to the bottom of the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 I've shown on the channel. There's also a slight raised area to the rear on the bottom of the Chromebook, that's probably just how to angle the keyboard deck and screen when you have it open. Weight wise it's coming in at 1.56 kg, that's just under 3.44 pounds. Certainly not the lightest 14 inch Chromebook, but some allowance has to be made for the touchscreen that will add a little weight. To cover off the core spec in this CM14 Flip, it's got the MediaTek Companio 520 processor, aka the MT8186, so that means Chrome OS updates through to June 2033. I've got 4GB of RAM, but there is an option for 8GB to watch out for, and I've got 128GB of storage on this one, but again, watch out as there's options of both 64 and even 32GB of storage. I'd certainly avoid the latter. Port wise on the left we've got a Kensington Nano security slot, I guess that's really to let schools lock these down if they feel the need, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port for power data and display out, a full size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, a headphone microphone combo jack and a micro SD card reader. Over on the right, starting from the left, we've got the power button, the volume rocker, a second USB-C port, always good to see, and then one of the weakest LEDs I've ever seen for the power charge indicator. You really have to look at that dead on. And finally, we've got the party piece of this model, the Garage USI 2.0 stylus. You can push to pop it out and I like the fact it's got charging contacts either side so you don't have to think about the way you're putting it back into the Chromebook. It was really pretty nice to use and obviously a great selling point of this Chromebook but be careful as sadly this is an option and won't come with all the CM14 flips. To further complicate it, some CM14 flip model options that don't come with the optional stylus still have a screen that supports the stylus, but others don't even have screens that support the stylus, but they will still support touch. So double check the spec to ensure it matches your expectations. They're all full HD in a glossy finish and in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. At 250 nits it's the usual thing for me of finding this one to be fine for indoor use but occasionally wishing it could go just that little bit brighter. The webcam at the top of the screen is a standard 720p option that does the job but won't blow you away but it does have a manual privacy slider. The convertible nature of course opens up a number of ways of using this CM14 flip and paired with the optional stylus it's a pretty versatile device. All CM14 flips have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3 compatibility so no problem as usual with connectivity and accessories I tested including my PlayStation 4's controller. With the entry level Companio 520 processor games like Real Racing 3 here felt pretty smooth just with the occasional minor stutter. Keep in mind we've seen this processor in two other Chromebooks I reviewed earlier this year on the channel, the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 and the Lenovo 100e Gen 4. I'll link to the reviews to them in the description of this video. As you can see Fortnite was also playable, so for light gaming and browsing you'll be fine and if you want to have a bit more headroom do look for that 8GB of RAM option. Battery life with the 43 watt hour battery also seems pretty balanced against the performance with my usual benchmark of general use throughout the day and being able to get into a second day before feeling the need to charge. The typing experience on the keyboard is fine with a medium travel to the keys, Asus say it's 1.5mm. There is a bit of flex in the keyboard deck if you're a bit heavier handed with it but on the plus side it's spill resistant. The touchpad is large and plastic but just feels a bit on the cheaper side. You do have some very slight movement even when tapping rather than clicking and with a little noise too, just something you wouldn't experience on a better constructed touchpad. 
There's also more of that ultra smooth glossy plastic either side of it like I showed on the lid that I'm just not that keen on. The speakers are on the bottom of the Chromebook and the grills for them wrap slightly around the edge. They get pretty loud and the quality was better than I expected especially when they're on a flat surface like a desk I think that actually helps improve things rather than when they're in temp mode with them facing out with nothing behind them. Here's a quick sample. I've been using the CM14 Flip at my desk with this docking station from Wavelink. So the video isn't sponsored, but I did receive the dock for free to test out. The dock looks pretty smart. It's an all plastic build and can support up to three external monitors. There's four full size USB A ports as well as two USB C ports for data. It happily ran my peripherals and supported using my two full HD monitors as extended displays alongside the Chromebook's display as a third. I'll include my affiliate links in the pinned comment if you want to check it out. As mentioned at the start of the video, if you want to see the unboxing of this Asus Flip CM14, then click the video on the left now. And if you want to see how you can save money on your tech and how I purchased this for pretty much half price, click the video on the right. Cheers.